Thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video. Hello, welcome to the video. Hello. Uh, recently you may have seen uh, that we put out a video where we built a website using Wix. We built an e-commerce site. Oh, I say we, you built a website, a Wix website, and we made a video tracking that whole process. Um, if you haven't seen that video, it's probably wise to go and check that one out first and then you'll know what we're talking about. This video is going to be a follow on from that one. Yeah. So in this video, we're going to talk about adding a blog to the website and show you how that works. So Wix blog is an all in one blogging tool for creating and writing blog posts. They provide designer made templates and built in features that allow you to write your blog and create blog posts both on your desktop and on your mobile. Right, let's get started. If you don't already have a website with Wix, then our first video shows you how you can create one by choosing a template with a blog. The link for that video is in the description box below. So I'm going to sign into the website that we've already created. Once you've created your website and you go back into edit it, this is what your dashboard will look like. So this is the home page and this is where I want to add my blog. I already have a section on the home page which I want to make clickable which will take you straight through to the blog but I also want to add it to the menu at the top. So I'm going to go to menu and pages and you can see on the site menu that there already is a tab for blog but that's hidden so I just need to go ahead and unhide that. So once that's unhidden it will show on the menu at the top. Okay, so just scrolling through the menus on the side, you'll see there's a button for adding apps. Now the template that I've chosen to use with Wix already comes with a blog, but if you choose a template which doesn't come with a blog and you want to add one, this is where you will click to add your blog. And you can see the options that come up here. So the Wix blog is the one that's already installed for me, but they do give you other options as well. What I'm going to do first is that I'm going to click on the media button and I'm going to add some photographs to my media which I can use for my blog. Okay, so they're added. And now I can go to the blog section. For the ease of this video, I've already drafted a blog, so I've gone into manage posts rather than create a post. And it takes you into um, some examples of blog posts that come preloaded with the template that you've chosen. So I don't really need those, I don't want to keep them, so I'm going to select them and delete them. And then on the menu on the left, you can see that it says drafts. This is where my drafted blog post will be. So I've clicked onto that. And you can see the text that I've already written. So as you can see, Wix already provide text editor tools that you can use to stylize your text. You can create paragraphs, you can create different headers. Um, you can use tools like the bold, italic, underline, quotes, you can add numbered lists, you can add bullet points, change your line spacing and adjust and align the text to the way that you'd like it to look. You can also add links and you can add photos, videos and galleries to create the look that you want for your blog. So what I'm going to do here is add the photographs that I've just loaded. If I click on the plus sign in the circle, it will bring up another menu which will show all the things that you can add to your blog post. 
I'm choosing images here because I want to add some photographs to my blog. So all you need to do to add your photograph is click on the image button on the left, then you can choose the photographs that you want to add. Click on that and it immediately appears in your blog post. So let's take a look at the other options that you have of things that you can add to your blog post. So again, if you click the plus button, it will take you to the menu on the left and then it shows you everything that you can add. You can add a gallery with photographs, you can add videos and GIFs. I'm not sure what the file section is. I've clicked on the file button, but all it's brought up is my media. So I need to have a play with that just to see what other options I have. Dividers are a really useful thing to use. Unfortunately, when I added that divider, I didn't realise that my photograph was highlighted. So I accidentally took out the photograph and put the divider in instead. So just had to put that one back. If you highlight the photograph, it brings up a menu above it. And then you can scroll through and see the options that you can use to edit your photograph. For my blog, I have chosen the best fit and aligned it centrally. Okay, looking at some other options on the menu on the left, if I click on settings, it gives me the option to choose a cover image. So I've chosen that. I'm having a look at set a featured post. I'm not sure what that is. So if you're not sure what something does, there are always options to click on the information buttons, um, which bring up pages from Wix explaining how features work and how you can use them. It looks like featured posts would be useful once you have a few different posts on your blog page. Um, it's not something that looks like it's useful to me now because I've only got one post. That's something that I can return to and play with a bit later. If you click on the SEO button, you can see what your meta description is and you can edit that. Um, the meta description is basically sentences which include keywords and help to make your blog post and your website more visible on different search engines. Categories again is something that I can revisit once I have a few different blog posts up. And tags is very similar to the meta description. You just basically need to add different tags to make your blog posts more searchable on search engines. Wix give you the option to monetize your blog and you can choose different plans that they have to offer. That's not something that I'm going to do right now. You also have the option to add more languages to your site. So if people are viewing your blog posts in other countries, it will appear to them in their own language, but that's not something I'm going to add right now. That's something that I'm going to explore a bit later. Okay, so the blog posts do have autosave. The whole site has autosave, but I've clicked to save it anyway, just to make sure. And now I'm going into the preview mode just to show you what the finished blog post looks like. You can see the tags at the bottom there. Everything looks okay, so I'm going to publish it. Coming out of that and back into the editor, I can see that the post is showing off center. So I want to correct that. If I highlight the strip and I click on settings, I can select layout, which will give me options on how my blog post will be displayed. So for now, I'm just going to choose the one column option. Looking at the other options available to you, you can see that you can change the columns, you can change the text, you can change the colours, you can change anything within the settings. And there's also a support button for any questions that you might have. So coming back to the home page within preview, you can now see what that will look like to the reader. You have options to share on social media. You can also like or favorite the blog. 
and this is what it looks like on the mobile version. So I'm happy with how all of that looks and I'm going to go ahead and publish it. And here we are in the published version of the website and if I click through to the blog then you can see that it appears there and everything's looking good. So what I want to do now is I want to go back to the editor and I want to link the blog page to the section on my home page which will take you through to any new blog posts. So if I scroll down to it and I click on manage media I can then replace the image so if I click on that it takes me to the photographs within my media I can choose the image that I want to replace and you can see that appears there but I also need to name it which I haven't done So that's done and then I need to add a link. So if I scroll down to the link box and click on add a link, I choose web address, paste in the URL that I need And then I'm going to publish that, go back to the home page. If I refresh and scroll down, the photograph is now clickable and it will take me straight through to my blog post. And this is what the finished home page looks like. Okay, so there we go. So you did all the work. So how did you find it? Yeah, I found it really intuitive to use and I found it really smooth as well. Um, in the same way that I found building the website. Even for us oldies. Even for us oldies. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking to create a website or you're looking to create a blog specifically, then I'd very much recommend Wix for that. Um, they have extensive tools to use. They have the option to monetize, which is brilliant, and they have really good SEO, so you can be visible on different search engines. So, yeah, it, all in all, it was a good experience. SEO. SEO. Search. What's that again? Search engine optimization. Search See? engine optimization. I know stuff too. <laughs> so the links to the whole website are below, um, which will include the blog as well. So check that out. And also there is a link... Um, to follow through if you would like to create your own blog and everything is posted in the description box below excellent well i hope that was helpful um and i hope that was enjoyable thanks for watching take care take care then we'll see you soon bye <laughs>